Hello friends and happy Saturday. Today we are going to switch up and not do a normal vlog. Instead, we're just going to cook together. And it's a rainy, dreary, cold day here, and I thought what better thing than having a little bit of a soup Saturday recipe. So today we're going to be making one of my favorites. It's a lasagna soup. It is hearty, it is warm, it fills you up. I top it a little differently and it's just really good and I thought it would be fun to do that. It also allows me to have a little break from vlogging and just focus in on one thing. So today we are going to do a little cooking and we're all going to make well, we're not all going to make, I'm going to make it, and I hope that you'll make it, some lasagna soup. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is get one pound of ground turkey browned in my Dutch oven. While that is going, I'm going to add some salt to that. And, I'll, and also some fresh cracked black pepper. While that is browning, I am going to cut up two medium-sized shallots. Now, you're going to notice that I'm not using my favorite chopper that I always use. The reason for that is I'm just going to cut these pretty fine because they're gonna have an opportunity to cook down and really break apart. Shallots tend to break apart really easily, especially when you put them in a soup. So. Shallots tend to break down a lot easier than other onions, especially like in a soup or a sauce. So I'm just going to cut these fine and then they will break down when I cook. So I'm not going to chop them in my favorite chopper that you all have come to know and also buy and love. All right, the onion is all done. I'm gonna turn down my heat a little bit I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to this and now throw my onions in. And I'm just going to let these onions sweat out. I am now gonna chop up some garlic for this. I'm gonna do two cloves. You never wanna add your garlic at the beginning. You wanna add that towards the end. So I'm gonna wait till my onions are almost completely translucent and softened and then add my garlic Garlic has such a quicker cooking time that you don't want it to burn. Now, I'm going to share a story. When I was little, and I don't know if any of you will actually know of this. If you do, please leave a comment. These cloves are actually a little small, so I'm gonna do three. When I was little, my favorite soup was something called rival soup. Um, my grandmother made it, my mother made it. it. We didn't have a lot of money growing up and it was something that my family could cook that was really cheap. So basically it was potatoes, water, I think you added a little bit of milk and you basically allowed the potatoes to make it like a thick soup. And then you would use a little bit of flour and water and I think an egg and you would make these little dough dumplings. I believe I still have a recipe for it and I thought this year for Vlogmas I would share it with you. But it was called Rival Soup and it was kind of a go-to staple because it was a cheap and easy dinner. Let me know if you've ever heard of it and I cannot wait to share it with you. All right. I ended up doing three because those cloves are small. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in my pot. I also know all of you, and you are going to ask where my garlic keeper is from. You will ask where my olive oil bottle is from. I have like garlic skin on my finger, and my salt and pepper mills. They are all from one of my favorite stores, and that is Holistic Home. It is such an amazing store. They have such good home goods. I have bought so many things there. Now that things have cooked, my garlic is in, the next thing I'm going to add are all my herbs. What we're going to do for this is dried basil, dried oregano, and dried parsley. How much, you may ask? I can't tell you that because I don't do measurements. You should all know that. So just go by what looks good for you. So here is some dried basil. Here's some oregano. Here is my dried parsley. 
Now I'm going to add two big spoonfuls, maybe even a half of one, let's say two and a half of tomato paste. And I'm just gonna give this a stir. Now I'm going to add a large 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And I'm also going to add a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And I'm going to add one box, about four cups of chicken stock. While that's going, I'm gonna turn up the heat to bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn it back down and let it simmer. All right, I am getting a pot of water boiling over on my stove. I like to cook my noodles separately and just add them in at the end. I'm gonna check the soup. It's starting to come to a boil. I'm gonna turn you guys up so you can see it. So this is what it looks like right now. It has a really good consistency. Just gonna let that come to a boil. You can see it's starting to boil along the edges, so it'll be no time. And then we're gonna turn it down and just let it simmer. When we think about boiling our pasta, never throw your salt in right away. That salt will sink and scar the bottom of your pan, so wait till it's boiling before you add your salt. That way, the salt never distributes and lays on the bottom, and it won't scar the bottom of your pots and pans. All right, that's almost to a boil. We'll be turning that down, just letting it simmer. While that's happening, I'm gonna go outside in this rainy cold and grab some fresh parsley. It's super windy today. I have cleaned out a lot of my herb pot. This had basil and dill, and these are the ones that are kind of still standing. So I'm just gonna grab myself a couple handfuls of parsley. I used so much of this this year and it came in handy. And now we're gonna run back in. <laughs> <gasps> Say hello. Oh, I love soup. Welcome to Soup Saturday. So we have some fresh parsley. We will clean that off in a minute. This is slowly getting close to a boil. What I'm going to do while we wait is I'm going to break up some of our lasagna noodles. I probably won't use the whole pack, but I'm just going to simply break them up. into some bite-sized pieces. Some that are too big, I'll probably break down a little smaller. Based off of this box, I'm using about half of the box. Alrighty, our soup has come to a boil, so now I'm turning it back down to medium-low. I'm going to give it a cover. Also friends, one thing I love is to always have a little plate. I have this little seasonal one. I love having a little cute dish next to my stove. I use it as my spoon rest. I use it to throw little herbs on, keep little pinches of herbs that I'll need throughout. It's just a really handy thing to have. I highly, highly suggest it. Now that my water is at a boil. I'm going to salt it and throw our pasta in and just cook it till it's al dente. You don't wanna cook it the whole way through because once you throw it in the soup, it'll continue to cook. So I'm just going to have it in there for probably four to six minutes. All right, this has been simmering for about 20 minutes. I have drained out my pasta. It's not cooked completely. It only went for about six minutes, so it's still very firm. I'm just going to add it now and stir it into the soup. So it is all done. Look how thick and delicious it is. It'll be filling and warm on this rainy day. You can make it at the start of the week and use it for lunch. Like it's so great and it's a crowd pleaser because who doesn't like lasagna? All right, I'm gonna show you how I finish this off for dinner. All right, so I'm just going to spoon some in this bowl. I pulled my ricotta mixture out of the fridge I'm just going to take one spoonful of that, put it right there on top of the soup, grab some fresh parsley that we grabbed, sprinkle that on top, and look how perfect that looks. 
simple recipe. I hope that you enjoyed our little switch up today. It was fun for me to do something like this and I had a blast. I hope you make this, share it with me, tell me what you think, and I cannot wait to see you guys again tomorrow. In the meantime, I'll leave it like I always do. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give to everyone. Until next time, which like I said, will be tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>